let's make a progress bar in Excel. So we'll build something that looks a bit like this. Imagine uh, we need to make something get 10 out of 10. Someone's completing your sheet and filling stuff in. And it will go one, two, three, four, and keep building up and building up and building up. And then finally at 10 out of 10, a big tick to say that this is clearly done, move on. Maybe this is for an interactive worksheet, maybe it's for filling in other things, what, whatever. However we get this number, it doesn't matter. I've just done it with a spin button. Um, so let's build one. So I'm gonna do this in a new sheet. Zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna do it with a, uh, a donut chart. So what we need for this is we need to have basically a complete number, uh, some progress and some remaining. This will be the three components of our chart. So I'm going to put in just 10. Uh, actually, just to make it clear, I'm going to do 20, 10, five of this. Insert my chart. Put it in as a, a ring. So what I can see here is you know, what colors I'm going to use. So I'm going to set this up in advance. So if I select the chart and tap again onto the blue, well, I'm gonna change that to be green, quite an intense one. The progress I'm gonna leave as orange, uh, and here the remaining, I'm gonna click that and make sure it's selected, and do no fill for blank. Delete everything else, kind of scale it to where I think it needs to be. Now, what behavior I want is, let's say if it was out of, put out of 10, when it's complete, I want that to say 10, zero, and zero. I want it to look like this. When it's partially complete, I, I want it to look like this. Zero, five, and then five left, so it's halfway through. So to work this out, um, I'm going to name some ranges, and put it all up in this corner. Uh, again, we'll zoom in so we can see it all. So I'm going to do a current score. Maybe that's going to be zero. So it should all look something like this from the start. So first I'm going to highlight all of this, go to my formulas tab, create from selection and left column. So this is, means they're all named now um, and I don't need to worry about what's in what cell, I'm just gonna deal with. So the first things first, when it is complete, when it is current, I want this to read 10 and everything else to read zero. So I'm gonna start with here with an if, and I'm gonna say if, well, the current score is equal to the out of score. That's if we hit 10. Well, I want that to read, well, the equivalent of the out of score, really. Um, I don't want to manually put that in. I might have to change that later. And it's false, I'm gonna stick that as zero. So there we go. If the current score is 10, it's gonna pop up as 10. Now the progress, I want this to be if the current score is equal to the out of score. Uh, I want that to be zero, it's the other way around. And if false, well, I want it to read as current. So the current is now 10 out of 10. If I change it to say seven out of 10, well, we've got a number there. And here, well, I want this to be basically out of minus whatever the progress is. So now we've got current of seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I will need to change this one more time to have an if statement. If current is equal to out of, well, that's gonna be zero as well. So here we go. Now it's working if my score is one out of 10, the chart's filled in partially, three out of 10, five, eight, 10 out of 10, it's all done. Now, I wanna make a big tick in the middle. So how am I going to do that? Well, first I'm gonna select data and rename this data series as my progress, because that is what it is. And I'm gonna add in a new one called check. I'm just gonna okay that for now. So I've got two data series on here. Now for the chart design, we're gonna use a combo chart because we're gonna do two different things on it. One is going to be uh, the ring, so the donut chart, that's as normal. 
and the check, I want it to be a scatter. So I'm going to have a dot now here that represents the one data point that's on there. But what I really want is, I'm going to just put an X and a Y here just so I know, and I want 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And that check, I'm now going to edit the data so the X value is that and the Y value is this. Okay, that. Now that should probably give you some ideas about how you might want to rearrange this and maybe add more data points if you want to uh, change it. Now, the axes, I'm going to have to override and make sure it's 0 and 1 and 0 and 1. And that means that dot is always going to be in the center. And then finally, delete the things I don't need, the grid lines, the coordinates. And the same thing is happening here. I'm going to change this to an if statement. So if the current is equal to the out of score, well, if it's true and it's complete, I want that to read 0 0.5. And if not, I'm going to make it read uh, minus 0 0.5. It's going to push it off the screen. So if I change my current score to just 8 out of 10, the dot disappears. When it becomes 10 out of 10, the dot reappears. It shoots up. So fair enough having a dot there. But now I'm going to go to it, insert illustrations icons. And when the icons are loaded up, I'm going to search for maybe a tick so tick and i'll pick this one this just one i found you can pick any in image you like uh let's make sure i paste that in here and beforehand i'm just going to rearrange the size of this just to cover up the corner because this is roughly where maybe this will appear so i've now sized it up um, to be just in the corner unintrusively. And I'm going to take my check mark, hold it over the top, and rearrange the size of this. So if you press Control Shift uh, when you do these tags, it will center it. So you can kind of rearrange the size while it's still centered. Maybe a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller again. There we go. And then graphics format, graphics fill, I'm going to pick the same green color. Now, if I control X that to cut it and select that dot, so I've got that series, you can see it says series check there, and paste that on, suddenly I've got a green tick there as the data point. So this is now pasted in as an image. If you resize it, it kind of stays the same size. So you need to resize your graph first and then paste in the image you're going to use. But you can see if my current score was 5, it disappears, and then we've got 6, 7, eight, nine, 10, and it pings it. Uh, and if you use this number correctly, you can kind of maybe, well, if I change that to 0.15, you could see the slight animation that occurs when you update these graphs, it would descend down in a different way. Oops, sorry, I made that with plus 1.5. <laughs> now it descends downwards, if it was minus 0 0.5 it would ascend upwards so you can take advantage maybe of that little bit of animation if you want so if i put no outline hide it over the top there take the grid lines off outline now we've got a little progress bar uh, that can tick up as we complete our worksheet